I think I have air brakes or something. I have air brakes out. Oh wow, that hurts so good. It hurts so good. Did it hurt so good? He didn't die. It feels so good. Yeah. Hurts so good. Did it in and for a jet bomber. Let's go look at some 6.0s that it could verse. Oh, hey, Tempest Mark II, we're 200 kilometers an hour faster than you. Oh, hey, Sea uh, C Fury, wow. Well, sea Fire, we're 200, oh my God, we're almost 300 kilometers an hour faster than you. So if this gets the worst matchmaking possible, nothing in the world can catch it. If this thing gets normal matchmaking of 7.0, Across the board, nobody can catch you. If you get 8.0 matchmaker with this, things might be able to catch you. Might. Let's say a 163 gets a jump on you. You're not at your full speed. He's not going to get you. But if you are at your full speed, the 163s, he might inch a little bit closer. But if you have a little bit of distance and top speed, he's not going to catch you. What can happen if you use teamwork and you have four B-57s, the game can end relatively quickly. Now, there's a better strategy that I recommend <laughs> is to pair these up with B-29s. If you if your squad has two B-57s to clear out the middle or the, the FOBs, the bombing bases, and those B-29s go high with their huge bomb load, that airfield is going to be gone relatively quickly. Not in one pass. I believe the B-57s will have to go back and rearm, but it's a jet bomber, and this thing can slow down so fast. So fast. It probably has, I don't know, it actually has a parachute upgrade that we can't see or we can't research. I'll show you in today's video how ridiculous it is. My biggest fear with this B-57A isn't teammates using teamwork to end the game by bombing the base. Just for the record, I believe that this 57 should be a lot higher in BR to things that can catch it in a straight line. But my biggest fear is getting a salty B-57 pilot that doesn't take minimum fuel load and goes to space. These things are used by NASA for high altitude research. Now, granted, the ones they use now, they're still, uh, yeah, lock that in your head. They're still being used. They're, they're definitely modified. But these things can go really, really high in really, really fast. So that's my biggest fear. Guys, in the comments below, do you like this BR or do you think it should be higher? My personal opinion, it should at least be maybe a 7.7. .7. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Without further ado, catch me if you can. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so welcome to Kuban. We've got four B-57s right now. I'm going to be taking out the middle. And then I'm gonna be dropping the bombs on the right and then RT Bean. And hopefully, let's see, depends on what they wanna do. The, the hard thing about this map is that these units are moving and it's very hard to hit stationary targets with the B-57 sometime with altitude. Okay, lining up. This 163 could intercept, let's keep that speed up. I think he's gone. See you later. G91 in front of us. One, two, three, four. Bombay doors closed. And off to the right. 
Nice slow turn. Catch me if you can, 163. It's ridiculous how fast this thing is. Okay, lined up again. Bombay doors open. And this is kind of where is the bombing point? Okay, I see it. Oh, the terrain did that to me right there. One, two. Okay, we are fully empty. We are right above a Horton 229. And a 163 is right above us. RTB we go. Now, this is going to be a good demonstration to show you how fast this thing can slow down. And unfortunately, one of our B-57s just crashed, which is not good. All right, we are going to be safe out of the zone. We can pitch down a little bit to get this 163 off our tail. Watch out for those long range 30 mils. Okay, and let's level off here. Poor guy's wasting so much fuel to catch me. Okay, he is off our tail. Perfect. Now we're going to have a safe RTB. No, he's still on our tail. This guy knows he can't catch me anymore. La la dee, la 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 la. I pretty much outrun those 30 mils anyways. Okay, he's at 0.89. He's catching up, guys. That's going to be probably a minute of fuel spent on a B-57. And this guy is getting dragged where no fighters are at. So he's going to have to travel another minute to get back. And let's start setting up our approach nicely here. Okay, he is off our tail now on a just spawning in B-57B model. Oh, he actually took him out. Holy cow. Okay, let's set up for our landing here. Like, as you saw right there, this thing should be at 8.0. We're able to outrun 8.0 vehicles. Oh, nice. Base destroyed. Okay, where is our landing area? It's actually called an airfield, but I think it's right in front of us. So over here to the left. Okay, got it in sight. Okay, so right right now you would feel like, ah, I should probably slow down. No, not in the B-57. Not in this thing. We're going to pop air brakes in three, two, one. Air brakes out. Look at that speed decrease. Holy mother of Jeebus, eh? Combat flaps and landing flaps. Outrageous. Outrageous, isn't it? Okay, touch down, touch, 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 touch. Flaps retract, get that brake on. Okay, safe on the airfield. Got a lot of room to go to. Welcome back. We are over the combat zone and pretty much at their airfield right now. I would like to go for the ground targets, but as said before, they're on the move and it's pretty hard to hit uh, on the move stuff with this, this type of bomber. We're going for the airfield. Now, anyone on the airfield? We got stationary AA. We'll just bomb right in the middle. Bombay doors open. Yeah. RTB. Now, just to show you how little base damage these bombs do, feast your eyes. They're on, they got about another 10 seconds to hit. Yeah, not that much. But... With four B-57s, it goes a lot quicker. However, 
the two other b57s ripped and ripperonis early game well actually this guy went out with a fight though he he killed that uh me 163 which is a really hard target to hit with those wing guns but we are rtb this might be a long game but we're going to keep it up <laughs> that's hilarious guys check it out we were just uh coming back to uh bomb the base just kill me i'll slow down this is boring and unfair ah it seems the players know more about fairness than uh the balance people all good look at that man by the way he was in the g91 which pretty much outclasses the p80 entirely this is going to be good welcome to berlin we have two B-29s and one B-17. We're going to... Hopefully, I just bomb where the marker is, and hopefully, these clouds clear up so I don't miss. If I miss, this whole strategy right now is ruined. I'm just going to put it right before the marker. Is it clearing up at all? Absolutely not. Right at the marker. Or that little point. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll go back around for the middle one. So if we can clear out these bombing points, or at least one and half of one, the bomb loads that the B-29s are going to not have to drop is going to be 6,000 pounds more to their base. Bombing the middle base to half. One, two. Okay. Let's dive. Get the hell out of Dodge. I just feel absolutely invincible. Absolutely invincible. No one can catch me right now. Maybe a MiG-9 if he got a good jump on it, but look where they're... Look where the MiG-9s are at. And I don't even think those are MiG-9 lates. We are halfway home. Look at this speed right now. We'll be there in probably 15 seconds. And so I believe this B-29 is going to drop the rest on that base and... I don't know what that guy's gonna do. Me. Hopefully he is. Hopefully we get the AOK. -okay. Now we got, nope, okay, he's off us. Okay, nice. Okay, and now it's time to slow this thing down from 956 kilometers an hour. Okay, off the engine power and air brakes coming out. 900, 800, 700, 6. Flaps going out, 3, 2, 1. And the turn slows down for landing flap speed and gear and gear and landing flaps. This might be a little too high here, but we should be... Just touch it down. Smack it, smack it! Flaps, break. Okay, all wheels on the ground. We should be fine here. And we'll start a maneuver to spin. Okay, so the B-29 is going for the middle. It actually, it's already gone. The left has already been confirmed by the B-17. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's something I do not want to see right now. Right there, right now. We got a MiG-9 going for ground units. Uh, he's doing too many maneuvers, so he's not going to be as fast as me when I pitch down right now to get to the enemy air base as fast as possible. Let's see what he does. Oh, he doesn't care about me. Let's, let's zoom. One B-29 has already dropped, and I believe our friendly has already dropped. And there goes a MiG-9 on the deck. How has he not been bombed yet? It's too late, though. This is going to be pretty close. And I, I actually feel like, oh, he's stationary, boys. Bombay doors opening. On the 
away. If he does not have a good repair time, those bombs are going to get him. Bomb that airfield way down there, though. <laughs> you son of a gun! We were two seconds late on that drop right there. Okay, we're RTB. This is the last guy alive. Son of a gun. I was just waiting for it. God, cock meat sandwich right there. MiG 9 is still alive. F 84 is still alive. And we are almost back to base. You know what? I gotta say, this is fun. And the main reason why it's so fun to play this thing is because nobody can touch you. And because you have to go back and rearm so many times. I have a weird quirk where I love to go back and rearm my guns and fuel and get back into the action. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. But it just, it's more immersive into the battlefield or into the, like, the match. And we're going to pop those air brakes right now. Flaps out. Do a little maneuver here. Nope, this is a bad one. No, we still could pull it off, though. Hang on, let's see. We are super fucking slow. Power? I'm gonna land right here. Power, 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 power! Oh my god, we're able to maintain lift so well in this thing. Not anymore! Power! Okay, touchdown, brakes. And we're gonna start sliding. Oh my God, short field landing. <laughs> oh, watch out for that pull. Mm, nice. Okay, and we're on the repair or the reload. <laughs> this thing is so stupid. Three seconds. And we're a go. Oh, they just lost their last plane. We got a B-29 coming in for landing. Let's see how he does, though. Oh, he'll be good. Yeah, he, he's got it. Is he going to drop a bomb on me? Oh, that was cinematic as hell. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you haven't played the B-57 out, uh, do it now before it's changed. And I hope it is changed because the, the worst thing that can happen is that you get a really salty pilot in one of these things and he's gone from the match. No one's going to be able to catch him in that climb. Absolutely nobody. Again, guys, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great rest of the day. Peace out.